Is there a way to edit files inside of a zip file without explicitly extracting them first? I sometimes need to make changes to a zip or jar file, so I usually move the file to slash tmp, extract all the files with unzip, edit a few files, and then rezip up the files. This works, but it can be tedious. Is there a utility or shell script that I can use to edit a file inside of a zip file without explicitly calling unzip and zip, even if it's just a wrapper around these commands? Do you know the name of the file in the archive before unzipping it? You could make a function to unzip to slash tmp, edit, and refresh the zip. As it says, usage is. This unpacks the named file from the archive, saves it to slash tmp, edits it in Vi then adds it back to the archive, while junking the path. Add to your bash underscore profile, assuming bash. Edit, below is a version which works with subfolders inside the archive. Note. Do not use a slash before the name of the folder, i.e. use, my folder slash file dot text, not, slash my folder slash file dot text. If you edit a file that didn't already exist in the archive, it will create it for you. Also not sure if it will work with the absolute path to the zip file. Best tick with relative. Thanks for the question. I'll probably end up using this one too. Another edit, untested, but I read that Vim and Emacs will both edit jar files directly. Vim supports transparently editing files inside zip files. Just execute vimfile.zip and you will be shown a list of files inside zip archive. Choose the one you want to edit, change what you want, and exit with X. If then responds with cannot make changes, modifiable is off. Just run column set modifiable or column set ma source this URL. Short answer, no. If it's a wrapper, you are calling these commands. Anyway, the best I can think of is to open the file using file roller, if you are in an X environment, that might work with a simple double click, depending on your setup. You can then double click on the compressed file to open it and then you can edit it. When you save your edited file, you should get this dialog. You could make a script for this also, but that gets complicated if you have compressed archives that contain multiple files. Let me know if that's what you need and I might be able to cook something up. Short pedantic answer, no. If you think about compression, you're using redundancy to shorten the files inside, so any edit changes the whole file within the archive, possibly the archive. If you're being less theoretical, more practical, more I don't want to have to manually unzip slash zip there are tools that you can use. Arc on Linux is one I've used. You could also mount the archive with fuse zip, though that's probably more work than a temp file. Thank <laughs> you.